Hey there. All right. I told you I was going to put a nose on here, and I have not done it yet because I had computer issues. And thank you, Mrs. Fernandez, for fixing it for me. So I'm going to do this and post it real quick. I have extended y'all's deadline to May 12th because I know this, this video has not been posted yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this quick because I've showed a lot of you already um, in class. So let me get here and let's get this going and we'll make a dog nose. All right. So down here, all right, I'm going to be using black and white for this dog nose. And we're going to start with a half a circle. All right, I'm going to use a whole piece of paper going, um, you know, horizontal and landscape. You're going to make a half a circle and you're going to kind of come on down into a point here like that. All right, then to get the nostril holes, you're going to go out like this and go up and around and you're going to cover it, color all those in. We're going to do the same on the other side. And we're only going to be using black and white on this, so let me get this going. And you're just going to start blending to get grays in there. But before I do, there's one more thing for that. Now this is nose is a little bit catawampus, just like my eyes on my dog. Then we're going to do this line down the middle. Then you're going to just start taking your brush and get the white and start going back and forth, blending it in and trying to get lighter, lighter around the nostril holes because you don't want them to, you want them to stand out. So here we go. And we're going back and forth in the motion of the nose. So let me go down here. I'm going to start getting some white going down this way. And this is just a conceptual of, of blending this to get it all configured into the nostril. So I'm going to stay on here and do this with you back and forth, back and forth. And I'll end up smoothing this out as we go. I'm just trying to brush through here and rush through here. you watch me doing this, I'm not ever squiggling like that. I am stroking with the brush, stroking with the brush back and forth. Now, see, I just took that out, but you can go back in and create it. All right, let me get some more white because the black, you only need a little bit because what? It is not very forgiving. I'm just kind of building me a base color here and then going to go back in and put in detailing around here that I want to have showing. All right, let's see. And you know what? I've done like four or five of these noses uh, for class help with people and not a single one of them looks just like the other one. So what I mean by that, just to tell you, is that there is no right or wrong way to do this. There is just you working with blending, and a lot of times that will create something itself. Now I want to get a little bit more dark up here, so I'm going to bring some black in here. I'm going to get some more around here. And soften out the outlines. Of course, we're going to cut these out, so you know. Okay, so all right. I'm get some darker through here and get some shadowing through here. Let's see what else I want to do. I might want to make this stand out a little bit sharper and more crisp. And around here maybe to make it look more divided, more, um, let's see, built up and building some details in here. Kind of giving a circular motion for the nostril holes All right and I'm going to soften some of this up by adding some black through there and now I've almost completely lost my black nose so I'm going to get black and drag it back through that way in a circular motion Maybe soften up some of this and crisp up that all right, 
So, this is, I mean, it's blended and it's shadowed and it's detailed pretty much. So let's soften up some of these lines. I'm going to soften up some of the lines so they aren't as harsh. Alright, there's this nose. Here is one I did yesterday. And here is another one that I did the other day. And look at that. I mean, and then up there is the, the one I did for class. Let me get it going right. So this is what we do for the nose part. And then when we get all this on, you're going to just do a little bit of detail. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that with you because basically when you get your nose placed in the center of your paper, then you're going to put your eyes in their place. And I did mine different length, different um, heights. I wanted it to kind of look catawambus-like. That, that's my preference. And then you're going to make sure when you do the detail, after you get that on, then the eyes, you're going to use your blacks and your whites, and you're just going to kind of make the eyes a big circle under there. And where this nose point is, like right there, you're going to come out and make a half a circle and a half a circle. Can't see it? And then go like that. So, let me go back down here. i got to turn the right way because this camera is actually controlled by being up or down. Now that is the dog nose. And I'm going to clean my brush off really quick and do a quick, quick, quick cat nose because some of you had asked for that and you may have already done it by now because like I said I had video issues and got them ready now so all right the cat nose we're going to use of course the black and white that's my phone hold on just one second we're going to be using the black and white but I'm also going to bring in some red to make some pink so his shape and his nose let me get this ready all right all right, so his is going to be, the cat's is going to be a little bit smaller, and I'm actually going to start with the red, all right, because there's not so much black in this as there is red. So the cat's nose is kind of like a little rounded heart-shaped thing, and then we're going to go out like this, kind of the heart, and then we're going to come in. Hold on, and we're going to come in. We're going to come in. We're going to come in, and then we're just going to kind of go down in a little bitty arch. Now, I'm going to start painting this in with red, and then I'm going to start bringing in some white. Because the cat's noses look are, are kind of pinkish, you know? So, that's the difference in us doing with the dog and the blacks and whites, and the cats are going to be more in the pinks and reds and whites. So, while I've got that on there, I'm going to go ahead and start dragging me some white through there. Trying to get the base color and then we'll build it up. Trying to get my base going. All the way going around in a circle like my nose is. Alright, let's see. Now I want to go back in here and put a little bit of depth right in here. So I'm going to get the just the red. Kind of go around and define my outsides better so that they're more crisp. All right, there we go. And let me crisp up this side. And then let me crisp up right here. All right, hold on. And then I'm gonna go around here and do some white crisping right around here. Blending that into the circular motion. And I'm going to go in here with a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of black and just do some detail highlighting, some shadings. Kind of following the curvature of the nose. Let's see, I'm going to put a little bit right here and then I'm going to give a little bit of detail right up in here. Hold on. Then I'm going to go like this. Detail, detail, swiping just a little down here, and maybe just a tiny bit right there. 
Now, because I got black on there, and as you know, it's not forgiving, I'm just wiping it back and forth on my paper towel to clean it off that way instead of getting water into my acrylic paint. So, I'm going to take a little bit of the solid white and go back around in here, trying not to get so much of the um, black on my brush as I do it. And I'm going to go in here and add a little bit of deeper red around here around this side of the nose and darken it up some. All right, now that is our cat nose. And when we get ready to add him in with our eyes, um, because I don't have a cat made to show you, all right, I'm gonna pretend like these are his eyes. Just go with me. These are his eyes over here, okay? So to do the cat, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take um, I think we should probably do this in black is what I'm thinking instead of the red. Um, we're going to end up making his eyes join, going to make the eyes join, and we are going to um, give him some whiskers and stuff to kind of tie him all in. So we're going to go back to the black and the white for this. All right, I'm going to get the black. So you would, to get your nose and your mouth, kind of finish it off. You would end up doing something kind of like this. So you're going to come down, and you're going to go out and out, and you're going to circle around here. But then, hold on, then what I want you to do is you're going to start about right here, and you are going to do big circles on him and go around, and big circles on him and go around because this is giving him all this little space for you to be able to, and you can paint this in like the blacks and the grays. Let me go ahead and do that because I was gonna go ahead and skip on to the whiskers, but not ready yet, okay? So now we get our blacks and our grays in here, giving him his mouth with his nose right up there, all right? Going around here a little bit lighter and getting all this colored in. And then he's going around in here. Let's see. All right. And as you notice with this one, actually I've got it a little bit lighter than the dog one. It's not so much black as the as the um, dog, but we're making these big old whisk, uh, jaws for the whiskers. Right, let's see. And you can do that on the dog, too. So, All right, I am trying to get this video right at about 15 minutes and not longer. And then right in here, let's see, right in here, <laughs> you can put a tiny bit of little pinkish in there, too darker pink, not as light as the nose. All right, and then you're going to do dots, and I know I've got my colors mixed here. Dot, whoops, that didn't show up, did it? Just some hair follicle dots, you know, as I spread them out. And then you would brush out your whiskers, not with this brush. I'm making really fat ones, but anyway. This is kind of giving you the little base for the cat. And up in here, you would kind of do some squiggles along the inside of the eyes because the cat's eyes are got need to have a little bit of depth on them. So that would be your finished cat face. Um, something like that anyway. And I'm going to get back on here and show these um, show these real quick close up and see if I can get y'all to, okay, so that is the cat face, that is the cat face, all right, and probably I did my pink part a little bigger than probably we should have, but anyway, there you go, and sorry this was late getting up, let me go back up here, and um, hopefully, don't know why it's not going up there, back to the eyeball part, 
which is what it does for me a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here and hope I don't have problems with my computer again. Thanks, y'all. Bye.